Joe Douglas is at it again. He's bringing in a linebacker that we've been talking about for months. Welcome to New York, Quan Alexander. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, we are talking linebacker, specifically Quan Alexander, the former San Francisco and New Orleans Saints linebacker, formerly uh, a Robert Sala linebacker as well. So this is really cool. Joe Douglas brings him in. As of recording this video, I don't know the contract details. I do know the Jets have about $9 million in salary cap space, and this is just a one-year deal. So this is going to be rock solid for the New York Jets. This helps solidify or at least give some depth to an otherwise light linebacker core. Like, obviously, we're really excited for CJ Mosley, big-time linebacker. Quincy Williams has a ton of upside, but then you kind of have some unproven talent in Nasserl, Dean, and Sherwood. So for our third linebacker, Quan Alexander is going to fit the bill just perfectly. Now, he is six foot one, 227 pounds. He'll be 28 years old on August 3rd. So almost happy birthday. Happy birthday, I guess. I'm not going to talk to you or anything before then. <laughs> Um, but uh, he can play the Will or Sam linebacker. Now, last year, the Jets really got chewed up by screen passes, and C.J. Mosley and Quincy Williams both are big thumpers in the run game, but not so great in pass coverage. So this is something that Quan Alexander really excels at. Last year, he had a 67.6 pro football focus grade in terms of his coverage ability. Last year, in 12 games, he had 50 tackles, 3.5 sacks, seven tackles for a loss, and one interception. Uh, this is good. We needed this in our linebacking core. We needed that depth. I found an article from a Saints publication dated last year. Uh, the trio of Alexander, Davis, and Werner combined to give the Saints arguably the best crew of linebackers since the Dome Patrol era. Alexander's lightning-fast pursuit, outstanding coverage skills, and improved run defense and pass rush elevates the entire New Orleans defense. So this cannot be understated. This guy already knows the Robert Sala defense. It's not like he's a rookie coming in. He's going to know the playbook from day one. And I think what probably happened here was the Jets had made an offer to Quan Alexander maybe months ago, and he probably thought, hey, I could get a better deal, or maybe the Jets saw something in the first two days of camp that said, oh, you know, maybe we got to up our offer a little bit. They both came to an agreement and winds up getting done today, and this is something that I think Jet fans should be excited for, and I think the Jets defense is going to be pretty excited for as well, because you're not going to have to rely so heavily on, Qu or on uh, Quincy or CJ, and if one goes down, you at least have another guy to plug in. Last year, we played a lot of two linebacker sets. This will give us the flexibility to have a third one while not having to heavily rely on Nasserl Dean and Sherwood while still giving them the opportunity to grow. Now, I don't think this necessarily sets him up for beyond this year. Like, I still think linebacker is going to be a situation or an area of need for the Jets going into the 2023 offseason, but at least for this year, CJ Mosley, Quan Alexander, Quincy Williams gives us a lot more depth. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you excited for this signing? Are you just kind of meh? What do you think the Jets defense is going to look like now? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, go Jets. J -E